dark outside. We've been on the bus all day. It's dark. Top of this tall one, we have six lines of wireless vocals. Lovely nameplate here. Uh, antenna combiner. Got eight lines of in ears. I'm only using five at the moment though. And underneath this, we've got the M32C, which is running the band's in ears. That's connected to this DL32 down here. And then in the middle is my DM48 for the D Live. Uh, but there's a power supply unit. And then on the back of this unit, you will see these four inputs here. It's everything from stage. So on the other end of these beams, there are little stage boxes with everything labelled. So here's the blue one. It's got all the keys and everything on this side. Uh, so then there's four of those around the stage, two by the drum kit, one stage left and one centre stage. So they'll plug in there. And that fans out to this here, which is in a 48 channel XLR split on the back of here. So one to 32 go into the DL32, and the others go into this cave of mess down here, into the DM48. Uh, and then this little panel here, got my CAT6 cable to connect front of house. Uh, these go into a network switch to control all the wireless stuff. This is the cable that goes from the B port of the Midas M32C into the hub four over there to control the band's in-ears. Uh, some antennas and then power down there. And then yeah. on the top of this unit, I have everyone's names. Can't see because John just turned the lights off. That's good. Ta-da. Uh, so I've got everyone's name labeled up on gaff tape and the microphone's here. So we're using these Sennheisers with uh, these V7 capsules on the top. Very nice. And then on this second rack here, let's start the bottom. So this rack is just drawers, so we keep the antenna and some spare batteries. Here's all the microphone cases. Uh, and then some more mics in here. Some GI boxes. The top one is the guitar wireless system. So we've got four lines of guitar wireless and then the chargeable batteries in there. And then, yeah, on the back of that one, we just have the XLR outs that go to the Buns pedal boards. Uh, and then a control network switch here, links together. And everything links to the antennas, which are up there. Fun, fun, fun. And the band are controlling their in-ears using this DP48 controller here. So they can quickly turn up anything that they want. So here's a drum stem, bass stem, different guitars, piano, vocals, click. You press the button and you can turn up the different groups into your mix. And that's just one Ethernet cable out of there, which goes around into the hub four, which is over here. Into the darkness. There we go. There's the hub four. And that links from the master to the back of the M32 over there. So here are the stage boxes for the drums. Drums A, drums B. So they're all labelled up. Kick, kick, snare, so there, hats rack. The rest of the stuff on this side. And then a couple of little bits over here.
sleepy Luca. Two hour bus journey. Is everyone excited? Stuck on to Cologne. Let's go. What's up, Future James here, and I just got back from this tour last week, and as I'm editing part two of this vlog, I realised I didn't really film that much like explanation, talking bits, so interject me here now. But hopefully you enjoyed the run through of my audio rig, so I just want to say a massive shout out to Solo Tech for arranging that and building that for me. Yeah, that rig was a real big help for me, being the only like audio person on the tour, just having that all like pre-built and really easily labelled and easy to put together was just a lifesaver on this tour, so yeah. Shout out to Solo Tech. If you ever need anything audio wise when you're in the UK or Europe, make sure you check them out. I'll leave them linked down below. Uh, and other audio stuff that we did, uh, the problem we had with the Hub 4 and the Midas M32 DL32 setup, I did figure that out. It was all in the routing options. So it can be done. You can use the DL's outputs to output from the Hub 4. You just have to play around with the routing options. It's a little bit of a confusing section but got there in the end and I'll do a separate video on this and explain the actual routing and how I've been set up that way when I next get the rig in a few weeks time I'll try and do a video of that but yeah basically it's to do with like the user in routing options and you have to like work out which one is which DP48 controller uh, so yeah I'll try and do a video on that if you want to see that subscribe yeah, that's about it for audio stuff. I didn't really do a run through of my front house setup, which I kind of wanted to, so I'm sorry about that. I'll try and do that next tour. But yeah, I had a really nice time using my Allen Heath D-Live, the C1500. Nice compact little desk. So what I'm gonna do is finish this vlog with some footage of some of the last shows. And I'll overlay my left and right desk mix over them so you can kind of hear what was going on. Uh, and yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I'm going to do some more shows with the Rose in a couple of weeks. We're going to fly out to South America and do some festivals over there in Argentina, Chile, Colombia and Brazil. So I'll try and take my camera, try and film some bits. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I'll see you then. I don't know But you make me wonder who you are For long I talk about you For you in the morning I want to know you I want to be around No, no, baby, I'll never go to No, I want to be around
Just arrived into Barcelona, last show of the tour tomorrow, let's go! Oh, oh, oh.